The guy that usually writes these scripts is on the writer's strike, so I've had to turn to AI to fill in the gaps. <clears throat> Welcome to the Caldwell Rival Survival Guide, out shooting your enemies and winning hearts. If you've ever wondered how to make a hunter quiver with fear and envy, look no further than the Caldwell Rival, the gun that says, I'm here to slay demons and steal hearts, and I'm all out of demons. Let's dive into the art of wielding this deadly, romance-inducing beast. Why is that better than all my other intros? Ah, the Caldwell Rival, commonly referred to as the heartbeat of the bayou. Starting now. By me. The Caldwell Rival is famous in these parts for its rapid two-tap firing cadence. And while shotguns in general are typically point and shoot, the wider spread and manic firepower make the Rival hard to master. But this guide will give you a start. The Caldwell Rival costs $150 and has one other variant, the Caldwell Rival Hand Cannon, or $125. We'll talk about the hand cannon later in this video. The Caldwell Rival does 190 damage at 10 meters. I mean, probably. This is why shotguns are so hard to talk about. You simply can't predict the spread of every shot. So I say you can one tap a player at 11 meters and then you go test it and it doesn't work and then I've lied to you. I'm sorry. In the test range, I've found that up to 10 meters, the Caldwell Rival will always be a one-hit kill if the crosshairs are aligned perfectly to the center of mass and most of those pellets hit the chest. Stretch that to even 11 meters and that one-hit kill potential becomes much less reliable. But the Rival isn't about one-tap reliability. No mom spaghetti here, the Rival has two shots to make it work. The spread of the Rival is a little bit better than a Terminus and a little bit worse than a Slate, but the key to unlocking the full potential of the Rival lies in one thing, its cycle rate, which I just realized that sentence rhymes and I hate it. Faster than a Slate with traits, faster than levering on a Terminus, the Caldwell Rival fires two shells faster than... Uh... Faster than... Okay, hold up, that's fast in four words faster than supersonic jet speed which is technically three words what that two tap potential means practically though is a master of its recoil can net a kill about 40 percent further than its base buckshot would suggest assuming you hit your target and that can be extended with its custom ammo. The Caldwell Rival has three custom ammo types, Flechette, which causes targets to bleed, Penny Shot, which fires a more powerful erratic barrage, and Slugs, which make your enemies break yet another keyboard. Flechette ammo costs $40, but understandably, players dismiss it because it removes the ability to one-tap an enemy hunter, regardless of range. Unless you, like, shoot them in the head at five meters or something. But the bleed happens soon enough on a chest shot that I feel like this should count as a one hit kill, at least in some ranges. The undersold value of Flechette though is that it doubles the two tap range, which we already discussed is super fast on the rival. That was super cool, dude. How's it going? Uh, dude, that's a good distance for a one shot, dude. With flechette ammo, you can easily and reliably extend your double tap range to up to 24 meters, depending on your marksmanship, which is further than most people expect a shotgun to work, but also close enough that you can close the distance on that bleeding player. Basically, flechettes are an acupuncturist wet dream. Your enemies are gonna feel a little pressure. Penny Shot has always been a mixed bag to me. Sure, you get more powerful pellets, but the erratic spread means at certain ranges, you're only kind of sure that the volley will be a kill. You also lose the ability to pin, that is, one in, walls. Penny Shot is also a PvE ammo, so it's good against AI, which is something. And in extreme CQB situations, you're close enough to question why the pennies have fives on them. Is it Nickel Shot? And then slugs, the ammo everyone loves to hate on, probably rightfully so. Slugs fire a single projectile and are a reliable one tap to the chest at up to 13 meters and have a headshot range of about 20 meters. Like Flechette, it can double, oh sorry, I mean quadruple that crucial double tap range out to 40 meters. Did I mention that a rival with slugs is cheaper than a drilling for basically all the same functionality within a compound? In short, if you want the most effective ammo type, slugs are your best bet. If you want more range without the hate, 
Plushettes are fun, but that's also a controversial take and a hill I'm willing to die on. And if you just want to guess if a shot is going to be a kill, use Nickel Shot. But also, Buckshot is still pretty good too. Just remember, you don't need to one-shot everyone. You can send more twofers than a BOGO flash sale. In the next section, we'll talk about the cons of bringing the rival and what to pair it with. But first, subscribe to my YouTube channel for captivating content that will entertain, educate, and leave you eagerly awaiting every new video. Huh, yeah, that sounds about right. Thanks, ChatGPT. Let's see how those subscriber numbers fare. Okay, let's talk about the rival hand cannon, which has the same basic function with a little worse spread and therefore a little worse range. The rival hand cannon is a two-slot shotgun, which means it can be paired with other two-slot weapons or a three-slot weapon if you have quartermaster. It's a reliable buckshot one-hit kill at eight meters, a reliable slug one-hit kill at 10 meters, but again, factor in the double tap and you get a bit more range. Due to its worst spread though, the rival hand cannon will benefit much more from slugs and flechette, but again, you'll be paying extra for those. The true benefit of the rival hand cannon is that it's cheaper than the Spectre and the Terminus hand cannons, but it still has two rapid shots, which give it a little edge over the Romero hand cannon and close quarters like in a building that can easily be two one-tap kills with buckshot or slugs. The rival sounds like a great shotgun, so why doesn't everyone use it? Well, once you fired your two shots, you're just kind of left to stand there awkwardly, like when you're grocery shopping with your partner and you're in the checkout line, but she forgets something, so she leaves you alone, and it feels like the cashier intentionally starts scanning items faster, and you're just sweating. You've never seen arms move that fast, and all you want to do is die. And die you will, during a reload. Similar to the other break action weapons, you'll need to plan your appearances in short bursts to give yourself time to drop in some new shells like a gorilla fighter that happens to have a hobby or he likes collecting things on the beach. Another consideration is you have 10 shotgun shells total, more than the base Romero 7, but less than the other three slot shotguns. And as I've said, you'll be two tapping more than Riverdance. As of update 113, you get two shells back from red ammo boxes and two back from special ammo boxes, so keep an eye out for them during a fight. Also, slugs awkwardly max out at seven total in a double barrel, divisible by two. Like what, did you just forget to pack one? Compared to other shotguns, the Romero and the Spectre probably have you beat on one tap range, and the Slate, Terminus, and Crown and King can put more shells down range thanks to their magazines. You might like the rival if you want to save a little money, don't mind relying on a secondary, or have some sort of disorder that makes you unnaturally aggressive. The rival will really excel within compounds where you can rush into rooms, take your shots, and reload behind a wall, so try to plan your fights that way. But it's Hunt Showdown, where not every engagement will be in tickle ranges. So you'll probably want to pair the rival with something that has a decent headshot range, probably medium or long ammo. An uppercut, an upper mat, which can boost your spare ammo pool, the Centennial Shorty, a Pax. Depending which rival variant you take, or if you have Quartermaster, you'll want a weapon that can get you out of jams up close when you still need to reload, or pick a target off at a distance where your buckshot might as well be confetti. I've also seen some people suggest a bow works with the rival hand cannon, but that feels a lot like wearing two left shoes. The rival is not a weapon for the socially awkward because you're gonna have to get close to people, but it's a weapon for people who believe in second chances. If the first shot isn't a kill, it's almost always worth it to take the next. It's a weapon for the optimistic hunt player because all the rival stands out there know with a little hope called well that ends well. Oh yeah, the AI totally wrote that conclusion. <clears throat> Very hot. This guy's poisoned. Okay. And then you killed them. Killed one over here. My body is burning. Yep. Should I just run yeah. in? Oh, my body got shot because I was going to oh. Birthday, a moorhound killed me with a birthday oh. at 10 meters. I think you're a legend. You're oh. so much better than them. And by them, he means us. Yes. I'm on fire. <laughs> I know, we've been saying it. 